Hello everybody, welcome back to the farm. Welcome back to Lincoln Farm. Welcome back to this field that used to have canola in it. Right. On three occasions I've tried to make a video for this farm. On three occasions I've harvested and I started cultivating. Then I found out the microphone wasn't working. But today, it's working. And today we've got some fertilizing to take care of. So we're going to jump in the little John Deere. We're going to turn the fertilizer spreader on. And eventually, my foot was in the, on the accelerator the entire time then. <laughs> um, we're going to get this field fertilized. And then we're going to seed both of these fields. Because I think it's plant day for the seeding. Or seeding day. Um, for the canola. We have canola already in the windmill making canola oil and we're going to move the canola oil that's already been made along with potatoes that we've already got in the back of the truck to the uh, chip factory I suppose you can call it but we're going to make some french fries and some potato chips so that's what we're doing at the moment I uh, hope you're all, all well I'm sorry there hasn't been much of a video um, much content coming out I just really haven't been in the mood. I know, I've got to get back on SnowRunner. I'll probably do some SnowRunner tonight, actually. What do I do on Tuesday? Yeah. Uh, depending on what time the child goes to bed. My brother's round tonight as well. It's his birthday. Big shout out to my older brother, 43 dude. Woo woo. Happy birthday. And, uh, yeah, so I'll probably get on for an, for an hour on SnowRunner. I've had a little go on my personal save game, on my other save game just to get back into the feel of it and yeah I'm, I'm missing it I'm missing doing snow runner so that will be back live tonight I should think um, yeah so that's pretty much everything caught up on today's plan on the farm like I say is to take the potatoes and the oil to the potato chip factory um, yeah there we go get it all I may or may not I'm going with not. Oh, I did. Nice. I'll take that as a win. Um, we're not using much, so I'm just going to... There we go. Um, yeah, I mean, we may even get round to cutting the grass today. But it, have we got a bunker silo? I can't remember if I put a bunker silo down. I may or may not have done. I can't remember. We shall have a look in a moment. This isn't going to take too long. In fact, yeah, we're pretty much done. So the longest thing that's going to take is the uh, seeding. I will probably cut that. I don't know if that other field's already been planted, actually, by the... Let me have a look. Right, there's nothing growing in any of the fields. Can I plant canola today? Yes. Right, so let's just leave that there a second. Let's jump into... Where is it? This guy. We'll grab the cedar. And we will go and do the outer limits. <laughs> the outer limits. The outer perimeter of this field. So we can at least get that field planted while we all the stuff today which is why I like having two tractors granted they are quite small but I do like them I'm not gonna lie right so we'll drop this down turn it on I don't know if it's this cedar or this tractor, but it does miss lines out when you hire a worker on it. Come on, come on, you can do it, there we go. So I will have to go through and uh, just kind of add the extra missing seed at the end, but that's fine. And again, it's missed stuff with the sprayer, but I'm not, I'm not over fussed. It's, the majority of it's done, so. 
but we're on our way to buying another plot of land which I think is going to be next door to our farm this side I think yeah I think so because then we can add more fields where we can do more canola maybe get more windmills because they take a while <laughs> they do take a while I added some new equipment to the shop as well. Uh, was it trucks? Um, no, not trucks. I did add some cars. I added a couple of pickup trucks. I added these. Uh, that one, because I like it. That one, because it's awesome. And obviously, these are all TLX stuff. So we're going to have all, all the TLX stuff if we want to go for the newer trucks. I don't know. Um, I also, I think... I've got a really cool bailer. Um, oh, boys, be quiet, please. I'm busy recording a video. Um, yeah, this guy. There's a quick, quick bail and a quick bail. What? Oh, it's 24 miles an hour. We're not going to have that one because I like to keep it realistic. But it's kind of cool because you can have a plain bailer. Or you can go through all the different brands. I don't know how accurate they are. But yeah, there's quite a few different brands. If it was me, I'd go with that. And I do believe, yeah, there's quite a few different foil colours. And I think the main colour as well, there's, yeah, there's a hundred, yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> there's quite a few. We have a Vicon colour. I don't know. Yeah, and that's quite smart. I quite like that. But yeah, you get the idea. You can have silage additives. You can add a rear hitch on. Okay, I'm not sure what that's for. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I quite like that. But this is our next baler, I do believe. Because it's cheap and it does small bales. It's 120 centimeter bales. But it is quite cheap and we are going to need it eventually. Because we're going to get a small bale trailer collector. Just to make it easy. So this is my third time around. Um, I'm going to go across this bottom edge and then set the worker off. We will then tab over to the John Deere in the other field, finish off that field. And then we'll cut the grass, I think. Yeah, we'll cut the grass. I have to say that doing the lime on that big field at the back was quite some going because the lime goes down really fast in that little lime spreader. But it needed to be done. We got it done. So happy days. Right, get on with that, Mr. Worker. We're going to jump into this little guy and we're going to finish off. The fertilizing. We'll have enough in here, hopefully, to finish this off. So we'll go around here. Swing back on ourselves. Do that. There we go. And then we'll just sort of put that off, spin around. There we go. That is now ready for seeding, which I'll probably do off screen. So I'll do the whole thing manual, even if I do a live stream on it another night. That's finished with. So for now, we can close that gate. Actually, before we do anything, let's take this oil over to the uh, chip factory. Because that can start work then. It's not a lot of oil at the moment, so I don't know how much we're going to get out of it. So it's, it's all kind of, you know, 
whatever happens, happens kind of thing. <laughs> That's the way I'm playing at the moment. I'm not really out to make a lot of money, I'm just out to do different things. Between the field work, you know. This is quite a trek over here, I like this drive. I'm going to tidy it all up, and I'll keep saying that, but I will tidy it all up. Make it look a bit neater. A bit wider in places. I do like this bit. Take that tree down, but I do like this bit. <laughs> Right, will this just automatically offload when I pull in? Yes, okay. There we go. Right, so I'll just go and fetch the potatoes. So I've gone back to the yard. I've picked up the potato, 15,000 litres of potatoes. We'll then activate the factory. We'll let that do its thing. We've got more potatoes back in the yard, but we're not going to get through that today, so um, we can do that off screen. I'll bring the rest over off screen. But we'll get the production going and we'll see what's going on. That's going to chuck into there. Go into here. Right. Um, potato chips. Activate. Potato fries. Activate. Yeah, see, look, we're, <laughs> we're barely touching what this factory can produce. So I'm not expecting to get much out of it, to be honest. Not too much, anyway. But that's that done. That's on its way, that's on, working nicely. So now, we need to drop this back in the shed. we we'll do some grass work. A bit laggy around here for some reason, I don't know why. Where is the... oh, there it is. Unfold the mower. It is unfolded. How do I unfold the mower then? Um, it is unfolded. Huh. Whatever that was all about. proper field grass, we don't want just regular grass, there we go. Again, this won't take too long to do. I haven't got anywhere to store this yet, so I do need to put a bunker in of some kind. So that is next on the shopping list silage bunker so we can make silage to sell initially but 
This grass was originally going to be for the sheep, but I over brought the, the bales, so we're okay for the sheep to feed right now. Not too fussed about the sheep at the moment. We're doing this the wrong way on I'm driving over the grass and I'm gonna cut which will flatten it. But it's only a video game. One I very much enjoy playing, but still only a video game. There we go. every piece if I can. something very therapeutic about the way you put the grass in this game. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Whether it's just me, I don't know. Well, I'm going to jump cut this until after we've done the wind rowing, and I'll see you in a moment. That is all the uh, wind rowing done. All that's left now is to collect the grass and find us where to put it. I've got an idea for both. Well, I've got an idea of where to put it and what silo to buy. So we'll just spin around in here, get it all lined up. Drop down, turn on, and collect. Yeah, it's pissed some. Oh well. We'll go back and collect it at the end if I remember. First of all, let's get this trailer full. It won't take too long. We're at 10% already. 15. Now. Yeah, it won't take too long at all. dogs that they like to be quite chatty don't they my dogs I do apologize for that <laughs> anybody that walks by the house is a potential burglar if you ask my dogs they trust no one it's 
grab those final bits. Nope, missed them too. Oh, oh boys, come on! I think I think they just like to be on the channel. To be honest, one second. Just tell them off any next door. No. <laughs> it's just ate on their bed barking. Couldn't make it up. They just laid on their bed barking at nothing. Now we're doing 62%. Okay, not too much longer now. Let's try and, if we can, grab that bit. I don't think we will. I don't think I can swing the... Oh, I don't know. Maybe we did get it. I'm not sure. This is really not the biggest of meadows, I've got to admit. But it, it's okay for now. The other one's growing. It's planted and growing. Or at least I think I've planted it. That one planted that one. No, we haven't. Oh, hang on. Let's turn the grass on. Oh, I did. Yeah, we did. Okay, we're full. Now we can. I'll show you where I'm going to put my silo for the silage it's quite a nice little place it's over here the one in mind, it's only a very small one. First thing I go to is a massive one. What's <laughs> that? Bomb with storage. Oh that's nice. Well, that's a lot of money but it's quite nice isn't it? Anyway, where is my silo? That I don't think is it. Oh, that's not the one I was looking at before. That's manure heap. Do, 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 do. That could be it. So that one. I think it's the smallest one. Could have been... Aha! There it is. Look how diddy that is. I think it's perfect. Let's just uh, paint around the edge. Because I hate the concrete on the bottom. on the front because you're gonna have to have access to it aren't you so yeah let's carry on with the green up here now if I get the grass yep, it looks like it was meant to be there Put a little bit of overgrown in. What's that? Oh, that's just the exposure tree stuff we didn't know was there. We'll cover that back up. <laughs> there we go, and put another one there. Put this one there. And 
You know what, we'll just overgrow this whole area, I think. Should we put a tree in there? I think maybe even put a tree in there. What kind of trees should we put in there? Oh, that's a bit fluffy. Is that going to clip into... If I put that down, I'm going to have to make sure it doesn't clip. I can't see. That one won't, because it's quite narrow. Look. Small willow. Oh, I like that. I think there. <laughs> How does that look? Wonderful. Right. Let's dump this in there. I think that's perfect. Big turn. Oop. Just pick up the loose ends. I know it's not a lot, but uh, every bit helps, doesn't it? So yeah, I'll grab that. There we go. Can I get a tight turn? Yeah, nice. There's a bit over here. I think that's almost everything. Wonderful. Right, I'm not sure. Is that field fertilized, this one? Yep, fully fertilized. This one, however, is not. Neither is this one. But this one looks like it's finished. Right, okay.
Yeah, we're going to get quite a bit in there, I think. Right. Next job. So, so a daunting thought. I don't know if I'd press continue or not. <laughs> I hope I have. Otherwise, this video is going to be a lot shorter than I was hoping it to be. But we're going to pick up some more fertilizer. If I did cut off the recording, what we've just done is put windrow and forage the grass out of that field there at the little meadow and put it into our new bunker that we've now got. Um, now I've crashed into a fence. There we go. First of all, let's go and fertilize this meadow. Lovely. So I go on there quite nicely. So it's going to be wide enough to do both. Maybe actually, yes. Nice, look at that. Very cool. Well, nearly. It's just a tiny speck here and there. But I'm not too fussed about missing a couple of little bits. I am. I'm lying. Let's go back and just cover them up. There's one. There's two. Let's get some more fertilizer in this thing. I'm going hot. We'll go and fertilize in the meadow that hasn't got grass yet. I forgot to get fertilizer because 34% is not going to be enough, I don't think, to do that whole field. So let's. Is it this one? Yep. There we go. Roll by filling up, why not? fertilized already oh okay well, it's saying it's already fertilized to the point we can't do any more oh it is what a difference this one what a plum so i've just uh, tied up the seeding in here we're going to fertilize this field and this field is done until harvest time Got well, that field over there to see. We're going to do that today. I don't know if I'll do it in game, in the video. Um, probably not. But I'll get that. I'll get that seeded, and then we will be moving on to the next crop. It'll either be potatoes or whatever we can put in that bottom field, just so we can sell that for a quick bumper chunk of money. It's in a nice nine gram baler, so that'd be nice to have on the farm. Possibly a uh, small auto load trailer as well. I've seen knocking around. So that too will be nice to uh, grab a hold of. So let's say it's guy up on a worker. Work and uh, do the rest. That's what you pay them for, right? <laughs> there you go. Right. So I'm going to seed this with canola, get that fertilized, and then the next time we're on this video, oh, I need ploughing. Look, 
but the next time we're on this video will be planting season for potatoes and whatever else we can get in the other fields so there we go thank you so much for watching guys sorry for the delay i'll try not to leave it so long for the next one take care see you soon bye for now